everybody, it's Debbie here. Welcome back to my Crafty Den. So, um, I've got this. This is a shelf. Just a wall shelf that I got from the thrift store for $4. And I have a plan for it. So, in this, this was a, um, just a drink bottle. And it's one of the ones with the wider mouth. So, I poured two tablespoons of plaster of Paris in the bottom of this little bowl and I mixed it with probably two tablespoons of water and stirred it up, dumped it into this and, um, and then I added the four ounce bottle of craft paint, just ordinary um, artist loft craft paint from Dollar Tree, $1.25 um, and just the plain white. And then I just shook it and shook it and shook it until that plaster of Paris was mixed in there really well. But before you even dump the plaster of Paris in it, make sure that it's kind of smooth mixed in with the water, that it's all dissolved. And so that is like a DIY chalk paint. Um, not really, not really a lot of chalkiness to it, but enough that I can paint this shelf, which is, let me find an unpainted part, um, which is just this wood with a little bit of varnish on it. So what I'm doing is just giving this a coat of paint, just a ordinary, I'm just slapping it on here. I'm not doing anything fussy. This is gonna have some good coverage when I put the second coat on top of it. So I'm outside because it's beautiful out here today that heat wave has broke the um the air is fresher it's easy to breathe out here i was having trouble breathing the last few days so all i'm doing is just slapping this on and making sure it's all covered and i'm gonna let it dry i'm gonna give it a second coat and uh, i'm gonna show you the difference right now so parts of this are dry um so this is one coat and you can see the brush streaks the you know i'm not really being fabulous with it and then when i paint a second coat on there i get really solid coverage and you can even put three coats on here if you want to just make sure it's good and dry like today it's not taking any time at all to dry outside so yeah so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to finish painting this and then i'm going to let you know what i'm going to do with it so I've got this, um, it's got a couple coats of paint on it. It's pretty good coverage. Um, it's, remember this is just craft paint. It's not latex paint or anything, it's just a craft paint. So cheap, cheap, cheap way to do this. Um, a dollar and a quarter worth of paint and two tablespoons of plaster of Paris. And so I'm ready to, whoops, I'm losing my, I don't know why this isn't, oh, because of the, the, the clouds. The sun's shining through the trees and the clouds are going over and yeah, the light keeps changing so the camera doesn't want to focus. So anyway, it's, it's, uh, it's upside down. Um, it's drying and uh, I am going to let it cure for a couple of days before I come back to it. So I have my paint uh, brush here. I've used up almost all that four ounces of paint. And you know what? If you can paint a little shelf like this for, with four ounces of paint, you're doing good. So, um, yeah, hopefully this will dry really good in the next um, 20 minutes or so. And I will bring it in. And then I am just going to let it cure for, you know, a week maybe before I do the second part. Well, I have to go back to work tomorrow. So it'll be a week before I get to it anyway, at least five days. So I will, it'll be a two-part video, so I'll come back and do the second part of this and then put them together and, and show you what's going to happen here. Hi everybody, I'm back. Um, it's been quite some time since I painted this and I just wanted to show you what I was doing. I, it's been weeks actually. <laughs> yeah, life sometimes gets in the way, right? So I've just been taking this and this piece of sandpaper and I've just been kind of on the corners. I've been, you know, distressing a little bit here and there. I don't want a ton of it distressed. Um, 
I think I'm almost done. I just want a little bit, a little bit here and a little bit there. You know, some on the, these edges and some on the front. Maybe a little spot here and a little spot here. Um, not tons. Anyway, this is what I'm doing. And I think I'm almost done because I've got, you know, I've got some distressing done. And these little knobs that are on the front here, I haven't decided whether I'm going to replace them or not. I'm, um, I think that they're fine for now. Um, because the way this is going to sit, I can hang some things from it. So anyway, that part is done. And my next step is going to be wax. So I have this. I've used, <laughs> I have this can. You can actually see the bottom of it, but there's still quite a bit left in here. Um, this is the Min Wax. Whoa, I better grab that. Um, it's the Min Wax Natural. It's the natural color. And it's the paste finishing wax. So it protects, it polishes wood floors, paneling, furniture, or trim. And... All I do when I've painted with chalk paint is put this on. Now you can use the color. You can get the dark um, wax as well for dark colors. So all I'm doing is putting a coat of this on here. And then when it dries, I'm just going to lightly buff it with, and this, I'll, I'll buff it with a dry cloth when it's done. So all I'm going to do is I get some on my cloth. See, it just basically disappears when you put it on here. So I'm gonna put a coat of this all over, and you can feel it on here, um, and it'll give this a nice protective finish, and that's what it'll do. So that's really all I'm gonna do, and I will show you what it looks like when it's done. So, I've put a nice coat of wax on here and I can feel that it's on everywhere. But now here's the thing with this wax. It, um, let me take my camera off of here for a minute. Okay, so this is what it looks like up close. Now the wax is not dry yet, but once this is dry, it's like floor wax. Once this is dry, I can just buff over this with a nice, soft cloth and it won't like it's not going to shine shine like it's got a finish on it but it'll be protected and it'll have a soft sheen to it and that's all I need so I've got I've added a couple of D rings at the back here so that I can hang it up and I'm going to do that I'm going to let this dry polish it hang it up and then I'll show you what I've I, what I've done it for so I used I'll just show you what I used. I had a, just an old pair of kids pajama bottoms that I had and it's kind of like a knit material, that jersey kind of stuff. So I used it. I don't know if I can get this to show the shine or not. Like it's smoother in spots than it is in other spots. It's a little bit rough. Um, that there was a little hole there and it got wax in it, but that's okay. It'll harden up. And if you can look at it, it kind of looks like there's dirt in the ridges. It kind of has an old yellowed, and that's what happens with the natural wax when you put it on top of a of a really white paint and you leave all those brush strokes in it. So you give it a good shine and what I do is I just buff it and shine it until I can feel it get smooth when the cloth isn't sticking to the there's a little spot right there that could use a little more buffing just because and I can tell because when you go along with the cloth like this it'll move really smooth if there's a little spot where the oh my chair is moving if there's a little spot where the wax isn't there. Hello, Lucy. So yeah, this is all nice and smooth now. 
and um, it's ready for me to hang. So this is going to be part of my coffee bar in my kitchen. I'm going to hang it up and show you what I've decided to use for my coffee bar. So there it is up on the wall. So I put it up on the wall over top of and right here against this little spot on the wall that I had. And I'm not quite done yet. All I had was just, this is a top kitchen cabinet. Um, it was just a piece that, I don't even know where it came from. We found it somewhere. Um, had it around for a while. So I had painted it white and put my coffee pot on there. I just painted that tile. I hauled, um, you know, the wall stencil or the wall sticker this thing and it says whoops sorry it says um, first I drink the coffee then I do the things but I only wanted this part of it because this wall is quite busy anyway and then I have my teas my my two favorite coffee cups up there my teapot some sugar and some um, yeah so that's what I'm using right now for my coffee station and it works. It works just fine. There's only the two of us. Oh, I guess Dan's here for a while, my son. So there's only the two of us. And then I scan across the wall. And across the wall I have... I did the uh, ampersand. I found the Live, Laugh, Love sign at Dollarama. The Home is Where Our Story Begins sign I did in the same way, both the ampersand and both this sign right here and this one right here, both I did the same way I did the shelf. Just painted them um, with a DIY chalk paint, put some wax on them, and uh, yeah, the uh, home is where our story begins was just a little piece of wood that I found somewhere. And um, I needed a place to keep my little collection of rolling pins, so I just threaded through the holes in the ends of the rolling pins with some um, jute twine and made a little thing with hooks and hung them up on the wall. So it's coming along. Um, kind of farmhousey, that's what I'm going for is a farmhouse look, and I kind of like this. So, yeah. Works just so if you like this video, uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. So, bye for now, everybody. I'll see you in the next video.